Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's your boy Frank with another DIY. Today we are working on the MK5 Polo, so stay tuned. As you saw in the intro, today we are working on the MK5 Polo where we are about to replace the timing chain. So uh, this MK5 has around uh, 100,000 Ks uh, on the engine and those uh, timing chains, usually they go bad, they start to rattle and making uh, 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 strange noises. I'll start it up to make sure that you can hear that. Yeah, at least you heard a small crrr, right? So that's the sound that they make when they go bad. So I already bought the kit. So today I'm going to show you how you can replace it. Of course, you can see that the car is already jacked up. I already, I'm, I'm going to uh, drain the oil, uh, remove the belt, and we will start disassembling the chain. Let's go ahead and start doing it. So, first step done, we have just removed the sump. Now we have to remove the crank bolt and remove those eight mils to remove the front cover. So, uh, to remove the crank bolt you need the tool like this I just made one uh, myself I just use it a set of bolts and this bar and an 18 millimeter 12 uh, point socket uh, you can buy this on your car parts store I didn't find one so I had to make one make one so let's go ahead and remove the bolt to do the timing you need timing tools so you have this one that goes right here you have just to take out this part is a t27 mil uh, socket and then you have to insert the other one into the crank i'll show you soon so as you may be seeing there we just inserted the tool lock it into the location now let's go to the bottom and do the same so here under the car you have to take this 8 mil bolt just right there so in order to insert the, the locking tool to the cam, we have now inserted the tool, as you can see, is that one that is touching over there and stick out just up here on the back. Yeah, here we are, we made some good progress, removed the top cover and also managed to remove the front cover. So right now what we have, I had to uh move the water pump in order to access one bolt over there so now we have to actually remove the tensioner and then we will remove the the guides and then the chain itself by the way look how loose the oil pump chain is this is why it was rattling a lot so this is how the oil pump was loose. Right now, I'm just removing the tensioner, which is located just back here of the engine. You will need a 27 mil to remove it. So right now, we are just removing the cam gear because you have to remove it in order to remove the chain and since we are using a different type that removes so now you can go into the car and pull it from there so another day i had to stop because we have to remove the sprocket and i didn't have adequate tools so i had to pull by this kit, oh my god, look at this, it looks so beautiful. So we have both jaw pullers and we have this other type which I think is best to use this one. So I'll go ahead and mount everything and show you guys how to remove. So I have everything set right here, so maybe it's seem to remove it. So now I have to start pulling it out by rotating it.
Alright. I think this was the most tough part of all this mission to remove this guy. So uh, we just removed the old chain as you can see right there and the sprocket and the main difference is actually on this sprocket. I believe that you can see this one is the revision G while that one is the rev revision D. So being said this sprocket also changes because you can see that this one was um, 571C while this one 571F. So the upper chain changes and if I show you here you will see that you have one, two, three, four, five bands while on this one you would have one, two, four each. So let me just put them aside. So you, there you can see the difference between the revisions, which is why we had to change the sprocket because otherwise uh, the chain wouldn't fit on the sprocket. So now let's go ahead and install. This is the um, lower uh, chain. The lower chain for the oil pump is to change. So basically it's the same one. So we can go ahead and install it back. Oh. Other thing that changed also in the revision is the fashioner. So I I believe you can see that this old one has this small gap while the newer revision doesn't have it. Also the guide changed. So basically you need to buy the whole assembly. So let, now let's go ahead and fit the sprocket. I will show you the tool that I had to make in order to fit that. This is the special tool that I had to make. So basically you have the Protect sprocket sitting right there, and I will be pushing with this tool at the insert. Let me just mount it and show you how it will look. So, basically, we have the tool sitting right there, as you guys can see. So, with this bolt, I will be pushing back the sprocket inside, I will be pressing uh, the sprocket. So, now it's time to press it. sprocket is installed with our homemade <laughs> piece of pipe that I found on the scrapyard which is cool so we spent some money there so now let's go ahead and uh, move around and install back everything because time is running so as you guys have seen here now it's time to insert the upper chain the lower chain I've already inserted it so you can see the difference of play between this and the old one that was here. Here it's minimal, which is great. Ooh. So we got all the new chain and the guy it's installed. Torque it down, it's back. Ooh, this is exciting. So now it's time to put back. Uh, I will remove the timing tools and rotate the engine to make sure that everything is run smoothly. I have now rotated the engine to revolutions and everything looks awesome. Except the oil that dripped down there. So I think now I'm good to go to start cleaning up and put all the covers back. Let me add the tensioner first. So time to put back the cover. I already cleaned it up and we are going to replace the seal. As you may see, we have a new seal, so this I will do after I put it back on the car. I will show you how. So as you can see, we removed the old one, and this is the new one that we will be using. And we can insert it once the cover is back on the car. Just added RCV into this cover, cleaned up the area, so now it's time to put it back. Also, make sure you get a set of brand new bolts for the cover. So now it's time to install the newer um, seal. As you can see, it comes with this cap. You just align it there. 
while you are pushing the new seal back in. This is how you do it. Time to insert the cam gear. We have to also replace, I mean, the cam shaft sprocket. We have to insert a new um, shim and also brand new bolts. All right, guys, uh, it's early night. So we managed to finish everything. As you can see, all the pulleys, the belt, inserted, the sump is there. Now I just have to top up the oil and start up the car. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the car didn't have any oil. It's definitely right away. So far, no issues. Very nice. <laughs> so now I have to top up my antifreeze because all of, of, the, of the antifreeze is gone. And we should be good to ride. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We managed to replace the timing chain and the, the crumbshaft sprocket. We did the service and the car is running smooth now. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you like it do not i mean do not forget to like the video and share with your friends see you next time cheers